Hello, so um, I want to fit FPV to my X380 and with the way I want to do it I need to raise the feet a little bit so as you can see we've got sponges but I haven't got the last one so just to show you I just hot glue now these black ones are actually sorry about this coming across um, black ones are actually off the protectors um, that I got with the um, transmitter but I can make other sponges but these ones are actually quite perfect for the job wish I had another two Anyway, just a little bit of hot glue. It's going to give me the height that I need. So let's pop you under there and press down. Hold for a little while. Okay. Well, that's busy. I'm just going to switch my glue gun off. Okay, that will set while we're carrying on. So, um, FPV. I could get the X380 FPV kit. But I've already got a really nice monitor from my eShine 250 racer. So, you know, it's, it's a bigger screen, um, works okay. So, what I decided to do was. Just get this um, eShine kit, okay? Because I already have the receiver, and what the kit consists of is the transmitter, a uh, 200. Megawatts, I think it's called. So this is the eShine 250. It comes with this cable, which just plugs in there. And then, as you can see, it has a lead that's going to go to the camera that little plug on the end and this one that can connect to the battery so this makes life a lot easier although I have a stock camera I don't have the cable to do it and I'm getting impatient so I'm going to use this and then it comes with the 700 camera FPV but as you can see I've modified it okay so on the back here I've got a very very light aluminium plate um, I'll leave the lens cap off for now and I'm going to use this to actually attach to the stock camera to get FPV for my flight later today weather permitting so here's the plan okay. these feet seem quite solid already and in place we'll just close that for now here's the Here's the stock camera with the gimbal. 
Okay, I've put a pad, I've padded some Velcro on this already to hold the um, FPV camera in place and basically the camera is going to come on, clip over the back here I'm going to need two hands for this, so sorry about the view I'll try and see and make sure you can see that oh, that's going to be a little bit difficult, so let me do what I can so essentially this is going to come on here I'm going to press down on the velcro straighten it a little bit and now if you can see you can see why I raise the legs to accommodate this so although the stock camera would be first prize I want to see how this works because I like the receiver and the size of the monitor that I have compared to the uh, FPV kit and now when I tilt the camera I will also be able to tilt the FPV so I hope this works okay so if you have a look at it from the side that's going to hold and that's what it looks like from the back oops hang on can you see okay so that is what it's going to look like with the little camera attached below okay so we have the cable with the transmitter and the two connections so all I'm simply going to do I've already connected it to the transmitter and I would like the transmitter to be here at the back this way or that way but I think I probably will go this way because I don't have shrink wrap and I think this would be better for cooling so I'm going to feed first of all the cable to the camera Now I've got quite a generous piece of length here so I don't really have to worry about anything else. Get it the right way around. And attach it. So there you are, 
Let's see. There's the cable attached to the camera at the bottom. Head through here. Now the nice thing about this to be able to attach it to the battery I don't have to put in a separate battery it's already got a, a one two three four pin for the three cell that's going to go into the compartment so if we look at our normal battery this is simply going to connect on here and the nice thing is that I do not need to make any holes or anything like that because the cable is so thin that it will go in there and I can close the battery door quite comfortably with this with this being secure so you see there okay. a little bit there will be a little bit of an argument for space but I'm sure we'll manage and I'll show you uh, when I connect it in the field so that's it as far as FPV goes um, I'm just going to velcro this on the back um, tidy up the leads give the battery cable enough space to get into the battery bay and that's already connected and that's going to hold pretty well so let me do that and I'll show you the end result okay so I've connected everything and tidied it up um, hope you can see look closely now there's a TX transmitter um, I would put it in shrink wrap but I'm quite actually happy to let it go and hold there for cooling but if I wanted to make this a permanent fixture um, I could do it cables running neatly held together there um, if we look in the front here now okay the battery connection for the um, transmitter over here and the normal battery connection so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the um, TX transmitter I'm going to connect the battery and we have life and also because I already have a TX transmitter from my eShine uh, 250 racer I'm going to rather use the mushroom antenna instead of the normal aerial antenna that comes with it for better reception looks quite happy Okay, well, the thing that worries me most are we going to get these cables all in here together? Let's have a look. A little bit of a squeeze, but let's see. Okay, well. I didn't really force that, that closed quite comfortably. You can see the transmitter's battery wire coming in there. Ooh. I can feel it vibrating, the 
compass vibration is not so good okay so really now fairly simple setup let's see if it works now the whole reason I did this was because of this transmitter so I plugged the battery in at the back and now let's see if we have any life or signal no signal um, but hang on yeah, now the camera is trying to settle down there so basically on the back back of this transmitter or receiver sorry I've got this little red button to select and change channels so I'm going to press it and 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 press it oh what's that okay so that looks promising make sure the connections on okay at the back and let me lift hello I now have FPV camera's jerking around a little bit um, obviously not sure why hmm. trying to get you both into the picture yeah not sure why that's working anyway as you can see there we go quite a quick easy one to get FPV for tomorrow really looking forward to it make a difference in the flight I'll need to sort out while the camera is juddering and that okay so that's the plan for tomorrow and in addition I want to test uh, the stock battery hope you can see this against an 11.1 volt 60C 2200 mAh battery and see how long the flight duration lasts now this little battery is quite a little bit smaller than the stock battery but it 60C and actually punches out uh, more volts 13.2 if my memory serves me correctly as opposed <coughs> to almost another volt lower but will it last the duration we'll time it and see and hopefully get a good result okay so let's get out there and put it in the air